Okay, in my room, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my process today. Um, just thought it'd be fun. I'm gonna walk downstairs and get into my desk, see what's all there. And um, there's a cup on my stairs. You guys do that? With, do you like have a lot of cups out and you leave them out? I do that, my kids do that, so when they're here it's like, where's the cups? There's no cups. So we're gonna go over here to my little like workspace, my domestic kitchen table studio. Let's see what I've got going on here. Let's see. Okay, third time's a charm. <laughs> Just did this twice and I showed things that I cannot show on YouTube. So this is my pile of in progress uh, body prints. I am loving the botanical action I've got going for my fall exhibit, the botanical garden up in Pennsylvania, running need. This is my desk, and all over there I've got a pile that I covered with hundreds of photos from photo shoots and self-portraits, and then the other pile is feminist artwork that I use um, for my tributes. So like here, I thought was unclothed, so it's okay. Um, so what I'm doing, I've got to make five works for a show in Portland. So what I do is I go through... Um, I think about like photo shoots that I've done. This is with Eli Haas, Moon Waves Photography, and I'll print them out, make them black and white, and then draw them and couple them with a feminist uh, artwork. This is one. I've got piles and piles of them. Um, Grace Martin Taylor, Sonia Delaney, Louise Nevelson. So these are my like latest that I'm thinking about. Elizabeth Blackwell, Judy Chicago, Sandra Aleta. Teresa Do Amaral, or Elizabeth Blackwell. And I've got a little Eva Hess here, Louise Bourgeois, always love. And then I will couple it. I will think about like the contents and the format um, that I want to do. So for this show in Portland, it's got to be eight by eight, super tiny. This is eight by 10, so I'm gonna crop the bottom here. Uh, it's a photo taken from a photo of me by Eli Haas, Moonways Photography. And I coupled that with um, a piece by feminist artist um, Julie Roberts, who is amazing. She's UK. She born in the uh, early 60s. Um, she started out in the 80s doing kind of like medical equipment paintings and stuff. And then later she's done clothes and deceased humans. And this is um, a little uh, child's or baby doll dress. And it's all of her, uh, they're floating in really, really thick layers of oil paint. This one was in red. Oh, here it is. No, that's not it. So I will uh, do it at the end of the slide, at the end of this with a slide. Oh, here it is. So you can see um, if this were in person, it'd be layers of thick oil paint. And then she's got this baby doll dress. And I really think it's a great challenge, um, kind of a more subtle challenge um, of feminist artwork uh, to the do male dominated art world. So I coupled that. I love the wrinkles in it um, and the, the floating. I'm going to do some red or orange or another color in the background. And then I coupled it with one of me on a bed um, being playful <laughs> as, as per usual. Um, so I'll play around with um, the, the folds and how that comes together. And also just as a woman, you know, as my dress, um, just the, the complications, the complexities of of childhood to womanhood, and um, I also play with some color. Maybe I'll add some blue. My, this is a blue dress, and so that's a little look into my process. Here's some more piles of work. This on the right is work that's done and has been photographed. This is work that's done and not photographed. I love this little tribute to Patsy Norbo. Um, this is more works in progress, stuff I don't really like, um, and so. Here's my bulletin board again. I gotta switch it up. I like to switch up my bulletin board. Back in the living room. Um, oh, you can see my little earrings. I've had these since high school, little butterflies. I love them. Usually I will lose one of my earrings. So it's very rare that I have both of them. So, um, I was gonna look, oh yeah. So when I go out, one of my favorite things to do is bring a book. This has been like, such an amazing book lately. The Erotic Lives of Women by Linda Troller and Marion Schneider. I'd highly recommend it. It's so much fun and I really love it. Just cause 
Let's look for Julie Roberts in uh, one of my feminist books. Let's just do. Okay. Let's do this book. Women Artist. Nice little book I got from a uh, National Museum of Women in the Art. For Women in the Arts. Of. For. Of. Okay, there's my laundry. Fabulous. So, here we are at the R's. Aw, super shucks. Not in this book. Well, anyway, let's look at something random. Judith Godwin, born 1930. Epic. Acrylic on canvas. That's pretty cool. Nice abstract action happening. Oh. I've done a trip to Bridget Riley. I love her work. Look at my fingernails. Super fun. Straight lines, different patterns. I just stare at it. It's her. Cerise Olive Turquoise Discs. So much fun. Thanks for watching. It's my Anna Sui shirt. One of my favorite fashion designers. Actually, probably my favorite. I want to be a fashion designer. High school, so every time I go to New York, I go to a boutique and get a t-shirt. One time I lost it at a cafe, and it was very, very sad. I actually wrote her a letter in high school, and she wrote me back. I still have it. She's amazing, inspiring, super funky, playful fashion designer, so I love that. Thanks for watching! Just touched some burp room. Wash my hands. Sitting in the sculpture. Here to play with me.